Hi everyone, I'm here with Lucy. This is my and Nick's friend. Nick actually went to school with Lucy. She looks a little bit scared. <laughs> this is the first that. time I've seen Lucy scared. Um, so I'm just going to do her makeup for a night out. This may end up being one of those speeded up videos because we're probably, we're, we're drinking beer. It's Cheers. probably all going to go wrong. <laughs> so um, if it does, you won't see this, but you, you know, you never know. Okay, um, I'm going to start off by mixing some Pro Lumiere in 40 with a little bit of Vita Lumiere in a 65. Um, because I don't have a darker one in the Pro Lumiere, so I'm just going to use the darkness of the Vita Lumiere to get Lucy's colour. I'm going to use um, NW30 Studio Finish. Just under Lucy's eyes. Mm. I'm just mixing a bit of Omega eyeshadow with a little bit of mystery just to fill Lucy's eyebrows in. I should zoom in, you probably can't see anything. Just extending Lucy's brows out a little bit. She has a really nice shaped brow anyway. I'm going to use Tempting Eyeshadow from this little MAC palette here. I'm applying this with the 217. I'm going to blend it with a 217, a clean 217. I really like these um, frosted eyeshadows in when it's kind of like nice warm weather because it gives a real glossy sheen to the skin, a bit like, I don't know, a JLo look or something. I'm now working a little bit of black tide um, into the corner of Lucy's eyes, just using uh, this is a 239 from MAC. Just working that just across from the outside corner just to give a little bit of smoke. up any fallout under the eyes with our foundation brush. A little bit of black tide just under the lash line. Avon Super Shock Gel Liner. Look up this. Just tight lining Lucy's eyes with a bit of um, black gel liner. And look towards me and up. Perfect. Using Bobbi Brown Gel Liner to just put this flick in. And look down and that way. And straight there. On a 226 brush, I'm going back to my black tide and I'm going to work that along these outside corners. So look down for me, loose. I'm just pushing this into the black gel liner. down for me. Okay, I'm just going to work this into Lucy's lashes. She already had a little bit of mascara on anyway, so we're just going over the top. And then I'm going to put some false lashes on. Do you normally wear big lashes, Lucy? Don't, do you? Quite Not small ones. Yeah, quite small So that they're ones. comfy? Yeah. I don't like it to look like I've got false lashes on. I like them just to sort of fill in Yeah. and look quite natural. I had the perfect ones for you, actually. So I used one disposable mascara wand to do the tops 
and the bottoms there. Um, the fewer you use, and that's not that's not re-dipping. I only put that in the tube once. The fewer mascara wands you use, the better. Um, don't forget, to, you can spin the wand, you'll have more product on the other side. Um, so don't just throw it away, there'll be tons of product on it. I'm using um, Eve Pearl Lashes in, these are 107s. I love these lashes, they're really comfortable to wear. Chanel Bronze Universelle, or as it is now known, Chanel, no, Soleil de Tain de Chanel, or something like that. I'm using Sublime Culture um, Cream Stick Liner from MAC. And then I've got Love Nectar Luster Glass from MAC also. There's a lot of makeup in here, isn't there? Yeah, I was just looking around thinking, I love it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's great. Girls will love it if they can oh, yeah. order. Hello. Would you like some more lager? Lucy would, yeah. Yeah. Just a little, yeah. So I'll share one with you, Danny. So I've got loads of... Oh, have you? Like okay, cool. Yeah. Lovely. So I'm just going to zoom in on Lucy's face. That is the finished look. I've not seen myself yet. She still can't see herself. Oh, lovely. There you go. Right, and we'll give you a mirror so you can actually see. I'll turn that on.